for like three hours just getting roll. Yeah, I mean, that's it. Like, yeah. That never happens, man. Like the whole team, like guys and girls, everyone laughing, just chilling. And yeah. it was a moment when I was like, oh shit, like this is how it's supposed to be. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's one thing to like go race and, have, and like win, but right. if you're having fun, it's like another thing. That's, that's the shit. What's up, man? Yo, you got me back into riding and racing after a 10 year hiatus. Let's go. For real. I like the hit. Like, the right bike and everything. You know? I know, yeah, you guys are riding these bikes. I'm like, that's the bike I need. That's the one. So I guess I need that one now. Revive, <laughs> revive from the grave. It was in the shop yesterday. Yeah, literally, I had a crash two weeks ago. It's my first ride in two weeks, so oh, I'm gonna be, uh, be fine. we'll see how I do. They should control themselves. Yeah, well, thanks for coming out, man. I appreciate it. Good to see you out here. Josh, up? looking good, man. Looks like you got a fresh haircut, too. Uh, it's it's pretty old, but just, I just... I, I I'm just shower. full of compliments for you yeah, today. Yeah, thank you. It's it's looking fine. You know, it's, uh, it's a real boost. Yeah. 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 Ways for them to be the face of Legion in the future? That's a great question. Um, Legion is, is, is one thing in this universe that's going to exist that, again, has multiple so There'll be multiple Legions. You know what I mean? So it's the first step in proving the concept that this could work because everyone said that this wouldn't work. You can't do that. You can't name the TNT. The sponsors want the, the, the title. Um, and it's just not true. It's just the only format that they have. You know, the goal is to have, you know, five to ten teams in five years. They should all feel like Legion. So we have to build the value at the top of the sport so that kids can go, I want to do that. And that's always been the mission. It's like, everyone always asks me, like, how do you get more people of color into cycling? And I'm like, make it worth it. <laughs> you know what I mean? If you want to create a I can't. If a kid is super talented in sports and he has one opportunity to make it out of a situation, I can't right now go, do cycling, right. because that would be, a lot, it wouldn't be fair. Yeah. Would be but if we can build a top of the sport and we have, you know, 10 teams and 15 teams and people are making a decent living doing it, then I can go, okay, what's the next step? <coughs> I really like what Justin said. I actually want to talk to you about that. I work in education when I'm not trained, so I, that, that's fascinating. But it, I, this is gonna sound odd, but I've learned with younger kids, they're oddly selfish. So it's like <laughs> they don't know that. You're getting. They, but it's not in like the I got mine 
so I don't care about you, but it's more just like everything is centered in their world, and that's if you can relate everything to their world, and what I've learned working with younger kids is that that's what creates those really binding experiences when you are able to get, like Justin said, hands-on experience, but also ask them probing questions about how what they're doing now and what they're learning relates to what they've done in the past. Because if you're able to make that bridge, then they're able to draw on knowledge that they've accrued in the past, and that really helps like get kids' minds those creative juices are flowing and getting them to think critically about what they're doing. Thank but I, I would love to talk to you more about what you're doing. Well, we're, we're going live tomorrow. So <laughs> <laughs> Maybe later. Yeah, we'll <laughs> that, uh, I think we're, we're uh, nice to people. I think they'll love to stay around and even dinner to score. I'll second that. I, I think it's about really out, like doing outreach, you know what I mean? And trying to like talk to these kids and invite them out and, and investing in who they are and like their stories and everything and i think that you know getting kids on the bike you know there's obviously we need to do a better job of creating programs where kids can get access to bikes but that's you know that's that's the first step right it's trying to figure out if you can reach out to specialize if you can reach out to any company that's willing to put something together and i think that that's community right creating something that is organized where kids can come out and, and have access, right? That's the first part. But after that, and the kids that already exist in the sport, it's just about investing in who they are, investing in what they're going through. Um, and that could be like inviting them out for, for a ride. Sebastian, what's up, man? How are you doing? How are you doing? I'm supposed to be in this race right now. What happened? My headset's jammed up. I just got that bike back. You wanna, you wanna work, you know, use my bike? <laughs> Come on, puppy, too low! Come on, come on, to have a little cruise in the pace car here in the middle of the men's pro race. See what kind of view we get from on the track. I guess I'm getting in the front then. Everybody's seatbelts on. Have you been having a good time today or what? Yeah, no, I bet. Woo! <laughs> That's 400 horsepower. So guys, I think we know why we saw all the smiles, right? Visit your local Volvo dealer. What? Honey, forget the Corvette, we're getting a Volvo. Aaron, you got a check? Oh shit! Are you recording right now? I got a check. I got some shmoney. What was your finish? All right, so I got uh, I got sixth place in a wow. Cat 3-4. Unbelievable. Um, I would like to thank my family. I'd like to thank all of my. Uh, I would. I would like to. Yeah. I would. I would like to thank the Academy for giving me this award. Uh, watch Sean Sorby's channel on YouTube. Aaron Sipe is my channel. My channel got no footage of this race. So watch your channel. Watch my channel. <laughs> yeah. Link. Link in the description. Link in the description. Link in the, link in the description. I'll do the bell lap here. Sam Boardman, it looks like he could catch the break at the last minute. Insane.
what happens when my bike is broken. On my way up to Clarendon, day two of the Armed Forces Cycling Classic. Please don't run me over. Project Cash along! Let's go, Sam! This race is blown up. So we got one more lap, then we're getting in the pace car again. You too can own a Volvo like this. Bikes not included. I don't think I've ever been in a Volvo, at least a nice one. When you think Volvo, what word comes to mind? Cycling. Bikes. <laughs> I think like uh, medium rich. The boss. <laughs> and you're going in the front, babe, right? Yeah. All right. Could have been a blunder.